Hey guys, we just finished up our worst season here on my George Bulldogs Dynasty, and today we're going to be going through the 2019 off season. Um, so this year we went 11 and 3. Um, this was the worst season I've ever had in a Dynasty. Um, since my first one ever, which was on NCAA Football 12 on Christmas Day, was when I did it. So when I played my first year of that dynasty, and I went six, nine, five, and seven. Um, so records, um, passing yards in a season. Uh, DJ Williams, uh, receiving yards in a season broke his 2016 mark, which I believe was his freshman year. Um, he broke Jones Edwards, Crow, AJ Montgomery broke. His school crow. Oh, I get it. He had it before, and then he um, had even more touchdowns this year. So, um, the quarterback situation threw a lot of touchdowns. I threw like. 26, 27 interceptions. Um, I, I, the four, the only game I didn't throw a uh, interception was the um, SEC championship game against Arkansas. And when you look at it, those are all of our finishes. First year that we didn't, that we just went to a bowl game. Um, so yeah, um. I thought I already accepted it, but okay, um, so before we go, stats and records, let, I led the league in passing. Marlins didn't have the, um, you know that, well, wow, look at that, look at that, um, didn't have the year that we, that we wanted them to, um, but we do have a 99 running back coming in for next year, uh, Brian Miller from... Oh, who is he for? Uh, Snellville. That's where I think he's from. Uh, I created him. Obviously, because he's 99. Um, but I'm going, I'm going to start creating prospects year in and year out. Um, just because they can make the team better. And also, it's, I don't get, I'm not usually guaranteed that prospect. So, yeah. Uh, next year I'll probably do wide receivers because I know we, well unless we have good wide receivers uh, this year. Okay, so let's see here. Players leaving. As I said, Brown's declaring for the NFL draft. Um, I'll guarantee him national title. Jeremy Howard is like, I want a backup quarterback. Um, and he never plays. Um, if you come back, um, Sonny Trust, Patrick, Patrick's gone, Patrick Allen's gone, AJ Montgomery obviously gone, DJ Williams gone, David Hopper gone. He had a serviceable crew. I mean, he was like a Malcolm Mitchell. I mean, he wasn't dynamic. Well, he was in between like Malcolm Mitchell and um, Ontavius Wooten, maybe. I mean, it's like he was good. He would make big plays, and then some. Uh, he would have some big games. And then some games he just wouldn't do anything. Chris Lewis, Rodrigo Blankenship, Bryant Mullins, Jason Stanley, Bobby Johnson, Nick Robinson's graduating. Justin Tidwell's graduating. Andre Reed is graduating, Tony Gibbs graduating, Bobby Cook graduating. So, okay, amount of people leaving. Um, transfer requests, I don't think we'll have anybody as usual. Um,
Uh, I was trying to show it in Madden 25, and I would upload that dra uh, draft class to it. And um, play one. Okay. Like like usual, nobody wants to come to the University of Georgia, even though <clears throat> we're likely going to win an SEC title or a national championship, or both. Yeah, because you can win the national title and not win the SEC. Alabama taught us that in 2011. Um, more night games. We we had more night games this year than we did in other seasons. We had. By the way, the LSU was a night game. It was at five o'clock. It just never got dark. Um, so one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven games at night. And all the soccer game counts as a night game because it was past 3 30. Um, team names. Oh, boy, but. It's like this is what I like. You offer guys scholarships and then they automatically sign. Hey, um, that's my uncle's name. Um, is there really any. I'm gonna offer this guy a scholarship. This guy a scholarship. Just trying to get, just trying to get good players right now. Um, so yeah, uh, athletes, okay, try to get this guy to sign, um, kickle, okay, DB, why does a guy from New York want to come down here and play football? Brian Miller, 9904, Snowfield, Georgia. Um, I don't want to call it back. I'm sure it yeah, looks like we're going to have pretty good wide receivers coming in. Um, I'll offer this guy 5,000 points. That's a 360 bonus. Then I'll try to get Greg Smith as our fallback. Um, so down 1,460. So I, I think I get it with the points. So you see we're down like uh, 1,400. So I'll give him like, um, I'll give him the max and just see. Um. I'm just waiting for the year when we have the number one uh, class. Um, so hopefully we'll be next year because I think um, is I'm going to try to create a whole lot more players. Um, I think this year I think we did get a lot of five star guys or four star guys. Um, I'm not quite sure. Ooh. Oh. Okay, Devontae Freeman leaves game with concussion. Oh, by the way, you guys are going to see this like Thanksgiving, or the day after Thanksgiving. I'm recording this on the 22nd of November. Yeah. Okay, we got that guy. Okay, we got that D tackle. But do we get the fullback? Yay, we got the fullback. That other guy went to tech, but he's not going to get to play. Oh, number one class! It's the number one class. Now people are going to want to start coming to the University of Georgia. Ten five-star athletes. Ten. Ten five-star athletes. 
George Southern had no five-star athletes. Five-star athlete. Five, ten five-star athletes. Wow. Yeah, I, I think we're going undefeated this year. I guarantee it. We're going undefeated. And you have heard it here first, folks. The Little John 993 has... Oh, best class ever. Um, has predicted a national uh, championship year. Undefeated. I saw it and I was like... I was thinking, I saw um, that, it was, it, that it said the best class ever, and I was thinking that the One Direction song, it's the best song ever. I don't know why. Okay, position changes. Obviously, Brian Miller's going to be a wide receiver. It, no running back. He could be a 99, um, he could be a 99 overall wide receiver. Okay, we got two athletes. Okay. So, you're not going to quarterback. We got a quarterback. Yay. Wide receiver. McLaughlin. Yeah, 79 quarterback now. I'll put, I'll put him at running back. So do we have any wide receivers that we could change to um DB? Oh, uh, Cameron Swan's now our best wide receiver. Oh, uh, what's this guy? Our uh, DB is forty. I want fun. I want to get at least one more DB. And I'm not gonna get it. Keep my chances. This is gonna be the first off season that I'm doing live commentary. Finally, I know in the past years, um, I haven't. Um, because I've gotten to turn my commentary on. Okay, let's see here. Cut those. Um. Please, try to find. Um, who can we cut? Can we cut this guy? No. Can we cut this guy? Yay. This guy. Yeah, I'll cut you out. I don't need another photo. Okay, but I'm saying, oh yeah, I can definitely cut my back up from that way. Jordan Carter is now starting middle linebacker. Okay, so that's out of the way. Um, custom conferences, yeah, let's let's customize some conferences. Um, I, I hate how you can only have 70 guys on your team. I wish it could be like 80, just so you could have a little bit more depth. Because I know at, um, I know at like fullback, 
a lot of evil. I wish I had a whole lot more death. Um, um I have some of my friends got that, um, I got a, a 99 one back in bottom row. He said, well, he's the Heisman Trophy went off for 2020. I've got one 2020. Yay, two more seasons, and then it'll be my first one year in college. Yay. Okay, I don't... It's like... I think um, a lot of people use the culture tree just to be successful. Which is like, I don't need the culture tree to become successful. Wow. Our school's... Um, the East Sporting High School basketball team won 106-85. to 85. In the first game of the season. It's like a cast at school, whatever. Oh, seriously, we're gonna be number nine in the preseason? Wait, no, no, I don't think that's. Um. It's like, do I wanna add anybody? I'll move anybody from conferences. Okay, some bell doesn't have conferences. Okay, New Mexico State is going to be moved into the American Conference. And now they have. Con oh no, because then UCF. It's gonna come to the Sun Belt. It's like I know I'm not moving anybody into the SEC, and because I don't want to change the SEC. It's like the only reason I'll change the SEC is if everybody in the SEC starts going bad. Well, I mean, everyone in the SEC this year was bad. Um, um Um, I, I, I just forgot what I was going to say. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Everyone in the SEC just was awful last year. Um, honestly, um, oh, okay. Well, number five. Who's ahead of us? There's no yet. Okay, first, let me see my prized, uh, coot. Oh, wow. How the? How do I have two quarterbacks who are on, who are on 99? No. This guy does not deserve to be a 99 quarterback. I'm sorry. You just, you just can't. Yeah, no. You're supposed to be the backup, not 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 the star. Okay, that's okay. It's ninety four. What? Now we're gonna change Bond's number because he deserves a lower number. There he is. Brian Bell, my prize on day. Number one, because he is number one. No, he, he's gonna have Nick Chubb's number. You sure can have nine, you sure can have 30. Wait, is 34 available? I'm gonna ask my friend.
Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do that later. Okay, I'll go and save them. That's number 34. Okay, hold on a sec. Okay, that's one vote for 27. I'll probably just make them number one anyway. Actually, now we. No, I'll, I'll give that to Rob Seifel. 27 it is. Now, I'm going to let him have his own number. Um. No, yeah, 27. So if he if he's good, he will be um his number will be retired. Okay, right now the only numbers I have that are retired is 34, and that's because of Horsey Walker. Just come on. We're playing at LSU again? I don't wanna. Okay, I'm fine with starting off against Ole Miss. <sighs> Look, can I finally put George Southern? I cannot play George Southern where they belong. That's just stupid. One, so one, another. I want this to be a bye week. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Um, oh, so this game was like, um, so this game was put in, um, okay, there we go. Okay, so. Because it was put in Gainesville last year, and I don't want it to be at Georgia. Yes, I'd like to keep these changes. Um, I'm probably going to uh, stop playing this uh, season, just because I'm so hyped for it. Um, because this is, um, oh, by the way, if Brian Miller wants to leave after his third year, and I can persuade myself to come back for my uh, senior year, I'll let him leave then. Let me just go get some paper. Okay, I got a piece of paper because what I like to do is like write down my schedule and its results. So it's like um, LSU, we we lost 37-31. And so from left to right it says record, then us and them for the scores, then the team, the place, the time, and the TV that it was on. Um, I like to do the time TV just because it adds another element um, to it for me. Um, I wonder who my preseason All Americans and All Conference teams were. Or now you guys know why I like edit this out. It's because of all this. Oh no, I I, I didn't create any prospects, but okay. 
Okay, that's fine. Yay, we're the game of the week! And it's a 1230! Yay! Yay! I'm going to shut this down. Okay, so 12.30 and it's going to be on ABC. And it's at home. Why do we need to play Georgia Southern? Why do we need to play Georgia Southern as a night game? It makes no sense. I mean, it happened last night. Um, it's just there's no need for it to be on at that time. But by the way, I'm not gonna decide. Um, the only games I'll decide the time for is like Tennessee and Florida. Okay, I'll, okay, not. Why, why, why is this not a night game? I mean, it's at Death Valley. It's supposed to be a night game. CBS, CBS. Wow, yeah, George Sex actually losing a basketball game for once. Um, then Bill, that, that's always a ESPN game. Three thirty, and just to make sure, this is at. Um. Well, it's supposed to be, uh, I guess there's no, so what week is that, week 9? Okay, that won't tell. Um, but if you really, really do not like a 30 minute off season, call me and I, and I will stop. Why? Why do we need to play these Sunbelt teams? At eight o'clock, it makes no sense. I mean, it's like the game's gonna be on the SEC. Yeah, it's it's gonna be on the SEC network anyway. Okay, so my stepdad logged in and I had to tell him I was recording and he just started tiptoeing. See, this is what I don't get. We're playing Appalachian State and Georgia Southern at 8 o'clock, yet Georgia Tech's a 12 noon game. That, that just makes no sense. Uh, Heisman Watch. Watch fine, I'm gonna be number one. Yay, I'm not there. Um. Preseason pre number one. Boy. Oh, look, I'm not. Um, RNCA, only our defense players can on RNCA. Um, first team. Second team, there you go. Hey, look, we're going to be playing the one. JD Rivera. Oh, by the way, to actually get me into the SEC championship game last year, I had to play as Ole Miss and beat South Carolina, and then I had to beat, uh, then I had to beat Kentucky. That put me in. Wow, I'm gonna be the second team quarterback. I'm gonna be the second team All SEC quarterback and second team All NCAA quarterback. Okay, again, just our defense. And then me. I um I bet you we go undefeated and Brian and Brian Mello wins Heisman and Brian Mello um goes on and breaks Nick Chubb's all his rushing records. Here, here, let's see all the records he can break. All the records he can and will break, and then I'll be done.
Ok, uh, rushing. Uh, touch down on the crew, I think he'll break that. I think he can break that. I think he can break that, 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 and that. How can he break the NCAA records though? Yeah, nah, that's going to be hard to find. So, bye guys. Hope you enjoy this off season. Um, I, I'm probably going to like finish up two seasons of my dynasty and then edit them all at one time. I don't know.